We are the Halsteads. I'm Tyler. My name is Fung. And we are going to Cairo, Egypt with Live Dead Arab World. For those of you who don't know what Live Dead is, it started about seven years ago by a missionary named Dick Brogdon. Their purpose for existence is to plant the church among the unreached in teams. I actually from a really small and remote village in Vietnam. So when I was 19 years old, uh, I moved uh, from my village to the bigger city of Saigon for college. I wanted to like learn English, but I don't know how to, so I asked one of my friends that if she knows anywhere that I could practice my English. So she told me about this coffee shop that was owned by Americans. By going there and getting to know them, going to their ministry, uh, times after times, I felt God's presence and I felt like peace and love that I've never experienced before in my life. And a few years after that, the Lord, the Lord ra radically changed me and uh, transformed my life. After I got saved from the ministry, a few years later, the Lord has called me to go to Bible college. I remember one time I was in chapel, the Lord just showed me the picture of thousands of people, young and old and um, adults, like people just hungry with the uh, hungry in their face, looking up to the sky. Uh, at, as they they looking up to the sky, they wanted something to you know to fill their 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 hunger. And the Lord just told me that um, that's my glory. And that, at, at that moment, my heart broke down, knowing that these people are hungry for the Lord, and no one is going to them. And the Lord just broke my heart for missions. So in my wife's village for thousands of years, like she said, there were no believers at all. And she actually was blessed to be the first one that broke the curse. And now not only her, but her siblings, her brother and sister also came to the Lord. And then through their relationships, there's about 10, peop there's about 10 people now in the, in the village that are following Jesus. And for us, like, rather than going back to Southeast Asia, rather than um, going somewhere else in the world, we feel like God is calling us to the most unreached places. Because there's places that are like, the, are like her village, but there's also places that are even worse where the gospel isn't known at all. There's no churches, no Christians, no missionaries. Those are the places that we want to go. So when we go to Cairo, there's more than 20 million people in Cairo, and they're packed into a relatively small city as far as land. And what that means is that when we go out our doorstep, there's people everywhere, and almost all of those people have never heard the gospel before. And we feel very clearly that God is sending us, God is calling us to go to some of the most unreached places in the world. We can't do this on our own. Like, we need financial support, but more than that, what we need is prayer support. So what I want to ask you guys to do is to pray for us regularly, because where we're going, it's a, it's a dark place. We, we want to spend our lives in some of the darkest places on earth, and that means we need the church here in America and everywhere fighting for us in prayer. So again, we ask you that you would remember us in prayer as we go to serve among the unreached in the Middle East.